Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Friday, the 8th of April, 2022. Just want to, before we get going, uh, for those of you, when you're on my YouTube channel page, okay, I'm on the page right now that says videos, and you can see all the videos that are up here in the library. If you click on the community tab, uh, you can gain access to weather posts that I put up on a daily basis. And, and along with those weather posts or maps and links to my website and other important links and features. And that's available to anybody who is subscribed to my YouTube channel with their Gmail account. So help yourself, folks. It's all there for you. All right. Let's uh, get going here as we have moved away from uh, the heavy rain that fell last night in uh, many areas, especially from New York City westward into eastern Pennsylvania and on up into the Catskills. Uh, the downpours uh, were quite significant, some places getting at least a couple of inches of rain and some localized flooding. Now, all of that moisture has lifted on up into New England for the most part, but if you notice on the satellite loop back out to the west, we've got this rotation, this circular rotation, which means that we still have issues for the next two days with a very cold and very unstable atmosphere. So this is the radar from overnight, uh, very early this morning at 4 a.m. You can see the rain is already well out to the north and east. It's fairly quiet for now, but if we look out to the west around the Great Lakes, you see that sort of round ball, these bands of showers, and in some places where it's cold enough, it's also snow showers. Uh, as the day goes on and the atmosphere grows more unstable, we're likely to see some scattered showers and maybe even a few isolated low top uh, thunderstorms develop well inland. Now, as far as the forecast is concerned, uh, I'm mentioning the possibility that there could be uh, a scattered shower or two, uh, maybe a better chance if you head inland. But I think much of the time today, it's going to be dry from northeastern uh, from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down into northern Virginia. You might get a shower, you might not. And uh, and chances are you probably won't. Otherwise, you'll be see, sitting in a mix of sun and clouds. And I think we're going to be going through the same thing tomorrow uh, because we have uh, this uh, upper low that has to play through here before the atmosphere can stabilize. So as far as the Storm Prediction Center is concerned, uh, this is for Friday into Saturday. There's no severe weather being indicated, but you'll notice there's an area of general thunderstorms from west of New York City on westward. Uh, sometimes when you have these very cold, unstable atmospheres, you get these what's, what are called low-top thunderstorms, and oftentimes you could get a little bit of uh, small hail out of it or even some grapple. So that's something you might uh, think about if you're well inland. Again, uh, it's going to be scattered stuff, not... Uh, widespread. Uh, we don't have uh, any severe weather that's being forecast for the weekend, other than again this sort of isolated instability in the Northeast and parts of the Central Appalachians. And then as we uh, move on to day three, which is Sunday into Monday, uh, we're looking at a small area of marginal risk developing in parts of Missouri and Oklahoma. And in the long range, uh, we are seeing for Tuesday into Wednesday, Wednesday into Thursday, um, and uh, there you go. You see that 15% risk being indicated starting from Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday into Wednesday, uh, and Wednesday into Thursday of next week in SPC's long range. And we'll be probably talking about that more when we uh, get to the weekend. So uh, here's what it looks like in the upper atmosphere. You've got this big upper low, and it, it's it's just not getting out of the way. It's literally creeping eastward. This very large circulation uh, it covers uh, pretty much uh, all of the uh, eastern United States here. I mean, take a look at this. And it's a very, very broad circulation. This is cold, unstable air aloft. The strong April sun goes to heat that cold, unstable air, and that's why you wind up with some scattered showers. And as we go through the weekend, you can see here for Friday night and Saturday that, that upper trough is still to our west. It finally gets to the coast early Sunday morning. And at that point during the day on Sunday, I think the atmosphere is going to stabilize. And then next week, we get into a nice ridge position here in the eastern part of the United States, the, which should lead us to some warmer temperatures. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is if you see right here, there's an upper trough that's moving through southeastern Canada there. And uh, there's very warm air that's going to try to come up 
from west southwest but there's also going to be a bit of a backdoor cold front and we'll have to watch and see how far south that backdoor front gets uh, it might make it to about new york city or central new jersey for a short period of time later tuesday into wednesday Ultimately, it should go back up northward so that we'll get at least a couple of warm days ahead of a more important system uh, perhaps coming here for the end of next week. And the other plus to next week should be the fact that uh, on the whole, it should be dry, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. So uh, as far as uh, the temperatures are concerned today, with this mix of sun and clouds, you can see the scattered shower activity that's showing up on the models during this afternoon. Most of it is inland. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s and low 60s. And then for tomorrow, we'll be in the mid to upper 50s with a mix of sun and clouds and um, some scattered showers around. I'm thinking that tomorrow has a higher chance of scattered showers around uh, from eastern PA to southern New England down to northern Virginia uh, than, than today. And then finally on Sunday, as the atmosphere stabilizes, we'll have sunshine. It'll be a brisk, chilly day Sunday with highs just in the low and mid-50s. We'll uh, hold in the 50s on Monday. Uh, then we'll get this uh, weather front. Looks like a warm front goes through here uh, and is successful. There's a little bit of a, of a weak uh, weakness there. Uh, Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning in uh, the lower Hudson Valley and in southern New England. And that's a, a weather front that's going to try to push southward but probably won't succeed. And then uh, we'll have warmer air coming in for Wednesday into Thursday. I think we'll probably see temperatures try to get up into the 70s. And then we'll wait for a cold front to come through here. It looks like the models want to push a front through here now on Thursday with the chance that there could be uh, some scattered showers or maybe even a thunderstorm. And then uh, it'll turn dry uh, after that. So from the standpoint of wet weather, it is going to be a lot better next week. Not that we don't have chances for it, but at least... Uh, the the uh, we'll be out of this uh, doom and gloom that has been with us for all this week. So thanks for, for watching Weather in Five. Uh, just a reminder: there's no Joe and Joe show until next Monday at uh, 7:30 Eastern Time. So that's Monday the 11th at 7:30 Eastern Time. Otherwise, have a great Friday, and we'll see you over the weekend.